Hey guys, so today I'll be experimenting with red curls that I've seen on Viv Hair Therapy's YouTube channel. And today I'd like to shout out Danielle, Alexis, Keisha No Skin, Key Million, and Lauren. If you want to shout out in the next video, all you have to do is comment and subscribe. So, I am starting this out by just wetting my hair with water. And I'm going to go on with my favorite leave-in conditioner from TGIN. Everything I use is down in the description below. So I just use one pump and smooth it onto the section. And I believe I'm going to comb it out with my wide tooth detangling comb or no my <laughs> And I'm just going to twist down. And then I'm going to do this to my whole head. And when I'm done, I'm going to drink some water because it took me like 10 minutes to do. <laughs> so all of my hair is now moisturized. So now I can move on to the roller set or the red curl set. And I'm going to just section off the rest of my hair, split the twist that I created with the leave-in in half, and each half is going to be a curl, I guess, yeah. So I'm going to use a white t-shirt because it has no color dyes. I'm going to cut off the sleeves so it's sleeveless, and I'm going to cut the shoulders so that I could get a nice, good section. Then I'm going to cut the shirt in half along the side. And now I'm going to just start off with the sleeve. And I'm going to cut off about one-fourth of the sleeve to create a red. So I'm going in with Shea Moisture's Mousse from the Jamaican Black Cancer Oil line. And I love that line. And I'm going to use about two pumps and smooth it onto the section. And just smooth it on because it is going to need mousse because this is a roller set. Any roller set I do, I usually use mousse. So um, I had to clip up that section. You see the red just fell down so I had to use a clip to clip it up and I'm actually following Viv's tutorial while I'm filming this and it was really, it wasn't hard to get at first but it's a challenge and that's why I love her results and I also love the challenge she went to to get there so that's why I decided to do it for myself and I love her channel I love how she tries everything and tries different things and keeps it interesting so yeah so I'm doing the red curls I loved her results and I just can't wait to you guys see my results so I'm going to wrap it around the cloth and I'm wrapping it like I'm making sure it's flat going around the cloth and if I need to add mousse on my ends I do this mousse is moisturizing so it doesn't uh sorry it doesn't dry out my hair or my ends so that's why I don't have a problem with putting it on my ends so towards the ends my hair started coiling really tightly and that's exactly what I wanted it to do since I do want the finger coil look uh overnight <laughs> so now i'm going to unravel the rest of the cloth and i'm going to take it upwards and begin to wrap it flatly around the curl or the coil so this was also tricky to get um you'll probably have to watch her tutorial and a couple other tutorials before you can wrap this up um but for the most part it's the it's easy once you catch on to the rhythm of wrapping so i'm gonna wrap it all the way up and now i'm getting to the top and i thought my cloth was gonna be too short so that's kind of what i was afraid of throughout this whole process but for the most part my cloths weren't too short at all they were just the right size and when i get to the top i'm gonna tie them off into a knot and I suggest you don't tie it too tight because I actually did tie it a little too tight on my roots and it kind of hurt. So just be careful of the tension that cloth is going to give you when you tie that knot. So I successfully did a red curl just like Viv and I'm excited. So I'm going to go ahead and move on to the other half of that twist and just show you guys again. I'm smoothing on the mousse onto my roots, the shaft. In the end, I'm going to clip up the rag, the rag, <laughs> and then I'm going to wrap my hair around the rag flatly. I'm not going to wind it like I would with a flexi rod trying to get a wind curl look. I'm going to wrap it flatly using my index finger and thumb finger to make sure the hair is smooth going around the rag. If your hair isn't smooth going around the rag, you won't get a nice coil out and your coils will not look smooth they won't look good at all 
So I'm going to curl all the way to the ends and then I'm going to take the uh, material at the bottom and then roll it up. Well, not roll it up. I'm sorry. Um, wrap it upwards. Um, so this is a historical roller set thing that was done back um, in the Victorian ages. I don't know. I'm going to link all the videos down below that Viv used and I'm also going to link Viv's video. Now that I'm all done, it took me about an hour to do all of these because I wanted to make sure they came out flat and nice. So my roots feel really soft and feel moisturized and not dried out. So that's a good sign. Uh, they did, it is a little tight at the roots because I tied it. Maybe I could have tied it a little more loosely, but you know, just watch out for that when you're tying them. So let's take them down. It worked, it worked, it worked, it worked, it worked. Oh. Let me work this side and then I'm going to come around to this side so y'all can see all of them. This is my rag. My rag's to risk it. That's so corny. Should I save these? They just smell like the, um, hold on. Watch it, who is Um, they just smell like my leaving. Should I save them? I think I might, I might save them. I don't want to keep buying shirts and trying to get, you know, riches when I can keep the rag. <laughs> so I'm going to work this and then come back. Just magically, you know. So taking these out, oh, look at those results. Taking these out was not hard at all. You just want to make sure you pull the right string at the right time, the right rag. So you want to unwrap the top rag first and just unwrap it, unwind it slowly. Uh, you don't want to pull your hair out. And then you want to unwind the other one going the opposite way of how you wrapped your hair, I guess. And it's kind of like your hair, the rag is in the middle of your hair because you know you wrapped your hair around it. And your hair should be really tight, like it should be a really tight coil like this one here and it looks so pretty oh my goodness they look so pretty like um like uncoiled out like before they're separated they look so pretty to me um and i do want to try this again using flexi rides but smaller flexi rides than the flexi rides i am used to so i'm unwrapping and then i'm unwinding Unwrapping. I did not use any oil to separate my hair. I usually don't do that um, because I feel like it's unnecessary. So now I have these nice coils that I'm going to mess up. And each coil I'm basically going to separate into three or four different coils. And this part took about 30 minutes because I had to rewind each coil like I had to rewind a coil each <laughs> sorry each coil turned into four coils so like I had to rewind them all the way to the ends of my hair sometimes I didn't go all the way because I was just too tired to finish it off so I finished this part off with some bobby pins for a design and this is my coil out and this is also day one this is the beginning of day one i don't know why i made that face <laughs> but yeah so now i'm gonna show you guys the end of day two uh okay this is day one so now here we are at the end of day two. Mm, oh yeah oh my gosh yeah so they started looking like locks they scared me like they really scare me like I, they're dry my ends are dry my roots were dry um i just couldn't continue the week like this i was afraid my hair was gonna lock up so i had to get out my extra virgin olive oil and also some water i had to i just rubbed the oil onto my hair at first i thought it would bring the moisture back but it didn't so i just figured i would just comb out my 
coils so my hair didn't turn into locks by accident so I just sprayed on my water sprayed on my oil and lightly detangle with my watchy detangling comb would I do this again yes but with larger coils not smaller coils so my hair wouldn't get so tangled so yeah guys thank you guys so much for watching check out more hair videos on my channel and I'll see you guys all in the next video